For Action News, I'm Anna Smotska. A New York Times column has AXA experts shaking their heads today. Author Nicholas D. Kristoff gets out of his comfort zone and, according to Dr. Josh Bloom, his knowledge zone. In his recent comparison of everyday chemicals to a toxic chemical we all know as lead. He also talks about something that we here at AXA have talked about numerous times, endocrine disruptors. AXA's Dr. Josh Bloom says this is like comparing a mouse trap to a bear trap. Take a look. It's irresponsible and it's scaremongering at its best. Okay, lead is a real poison. It's a neurotoxin. It has hurt many children. It has killed people. Um, fortunately, it's been out of gasoline for 35 years or so, and the same with uh, house paint. And it should have been gone, okay? Th there was a reason for using it at the time, but, you know, the, it, you shouldn't be having large amounts of lead all over the environment. It's just a bad idea. Kristoff is a fine journalist, and he, t he uh, writes about many things, but when he gets into chemistry, he has no idea what he's talking about, and it shows. So the fact that he's comparing these so-called endocrine disruptors, which are, um, you know, by every measure that I know, harmless, except maybe in some animal experiments when you uh, feed a bunch of it to a rat and then smash it over the head with a brick and something happens. Uh, I, there's, never, there's no proof of any of these things being harmful to humans, and they've been around for a long time. And, you know, we, uh, we have minute quantities of thousands of chemicals in our body. This is mostly a function of improved analytical techniques that can pick them up in low quantities. To read Dr. Bloom's full commentary, head to our website, action.org. Don't forget while you're there to also sign up for our daily dose of news delivered right to your inbox. For Aksha, I'm Anna Samovska.